everybody, Acre Summon Old Guy Gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue working on our base. And, um, yeah, so, base building episode, part two. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. I, uh, I spent a little bit of off-camera time. I went over to all of my drills and emptied those guys out. Got the resources for that. Uh, somehow or another, during the whole fiasco with, um, the thumper worms a couple episodes ago, I, um, I managed to lose all, not just a couple, but all, of my composite arrows. I'm not sure how that happened. I probably accidentally hit the drop key at one point or something. Um, and so I got to remake those. I'd like to have 20 of those on hand. Um, so we have six that I've made, and then we'll make 14 more. And that, whoops, uh, that gives us our 20 back, so we're good to go there. Um, so yeah, let's see. The, I think our first order of business here is we're going to uh, replace this floor in here with the wood floors. And I'm also, I think I'm also going to pull the stairs back one. And uh, uh, because, uh, and I'm going to put some walls up in here too. It, it right, you know, up to this point, it's all just been one big ginormous room. But we're gonna we're gonna put some walls in, have some interior rooms. So the first thing I want to do is I want to pick this up, and um, we're going to. I'm just going to put this over here for now. Um, I'm going to move these jennies out of here completely. We're gonna we're gonna have like a separate generator shed. Uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, whether we get to that or not in this episode remains to be seen, but that is the plan for that. Okay, so let's let's pick that up here. These pipes, uh, well, this pipe in particular, actually, you know what? We might, we might not need to change that. That pipe. Um, so let's do this. Let's grab the ceiling piece here and we're gonna put that in here um, I, I gotta figure out if that yeah arrow needs to be pointing to the south to make sure that's lined up correctly okay and then we're uh, yeah let's put the stairs in here Okay, uh, whoop, just, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I, I didn't want to do that originally because I felt it would be sticking too far out into the floor here, but um, we're, like I said, this is going to be the kitchen. So this we're going to enclose this room, and, and this whole area is going to be the kitchen. Um, we're going to enclose this area, and it's going to be a crafting area. But then we're also going to have, you know, uh, crapping and, and stuff up uh, upstairs, too. I haven't fully, fully figured out exactly how I'm going to do things. I've got some general ideas, and then we're just going to kind of, you know, work on everything and as stuff comes together, right? Okay, so now let's do this. Let's get this out of the way here. Um, and I need to figure out where I'm going to actually put it. I'm going to just temporarily put it somewhere. So why don't we, let's pick it up, and I think what we'll do is um, probably, probably this whole side over here is going to be nothing but storage. We'll probably just put storage chests all along the walls for everything over there, I'm thinking. Um, so for now though, why don't we put this guy here. It's not necessarily going to stay here permanently. And the other thing, too, is I want to get... We're going to make some more of the iron storage chests simply because they um, can hold more. I, I like the look of the wooden chests. But um, I like the fact that the iron chests, you know, can, can hold more stuff, right? So, all right, so let's put... All of that in there. Get this other stuff out of the way. And with this change up here, 
Uh, we don't need this door here any longer. We can we can go back to what we originally had and have a door out here. And we also don't need these pieces any longer. Though I wonder if those are contributing at all to structural integrity. Probably not. I doubt that they are. So let's just pull pull those down all the way. And then what we'll do here is we will grab a stone wall and we will put a doorway here. So, and then put the door in there. There we go. Me likey. Me likey. Very good. Now, um, what we need to do next is we need to, or what I want to do is I want to replace all of these with wood floors. So it looks like we need uh, six, seven, eight. We need to make eight wooden floors. Um, nope, wrong thing. How many of these can we make in total? 28? Nope, we just need 8. I'm also going to make some more beams because I want to do some more beam work too, but let's, let's let the floors finish first and then we'll worry about that. Um, alright, now, what is in here? You know what? I don't want, well, I don't want any of these things. They're super easy to get. So we're going to, yeah, let's just destroy these. At one point, I thought I was going to save a bunch of them up to make that elixir that gives you, like, those really massive buffs until I realized that that elixir sucks because it only lasts for a very short period of time. So I'm not saying it's useless. Um, it does have a use, but it's not as good as it uh, appeared to, at first appeared to be. Um, oh, wait, there's my oxide dissolver. I guess I did pick that up and save it. Okay, well we have two two now. Um, we don't need these at all. Let's just get rid of these. Just taking up space. Okay, I want to put the extra armor in there. This is like an equipment thing. This will just store in the oxygen thingamadoodle. And uh, the rest of this, I think, can go downstairs. Oh, what's still in here? A couple more tool items. Okay, so this is basically the the extra equipment chest at the moment. Good walkway fortification. Oh! Something else, too. And you guys may have commented about this in the last episode, but I haven't seen the, I haven't seen a comment about it yet. Um, the episode, the last episode released today on March the 8th, and there were one or two comments, but not about this that I've seen so far. Basically, if you remember, I wasn't able to figure out a half wall to make, to use the lower pitched roofs, but... Um, actually, the half, uh, which I'm gonna call it thingies. Um, where are they at? Over here. So the half pieces can go both vertical and flat. I didn't realize that. I thought they could only go flat. I should have looked at that, but I just didn't think about it at the time. Uh, but yeah, you can actually go vertical with a half wall too, um, and that would have worked. But I kind of like this this higher pitched roof anyway so I've decided to leave it in place because this just because it you know it makes things a little more spacious so we're gonna just stick with it anyways but um, at least we know or I should say I know now that uh, you can do half wall vertical pieces if uh, need be so there you go there you have it okay we'll keep that in there um, now let's take this cabinet here and we're just going to put it uh, up against here for now. Um, did I make that crooked? I sure did. Look at that. That's terrible. Let's redo this. What's up with this flashing not unbound business that keeps showing up there? It's a little irritating. I'm not a fan. Uh, 
Okay. And then I'm um, just going to put that stuff in there for now. What did I do? Wait a minute. Didn't I have a whole mess of sulfur? I must have put it... Oh, yeah. Uh, sulfur. Yeah, I put all that stuff in here. Okay, that's fine. I got stuff all over the place, man. Well, we'll put the leather in there. The spikes and the wall can go down in here for the time being. Put the spikes in here. Okay. So you're not working on anything. And let's... Yeah, you're not activated either. You're not doing anything. What are you doing? You need some sticks in order to continue filling up those canisters. And we'll put you in there and we'll put the steel and get over here. Just get a little bit of inventory management out of the way here. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace all these floor pieces here. So let's grab this. And I, I, like I said, I want to make some more of these as well. Um, and I want to make a bed. So we need 30 fur and 10 leather. Let's grab that right now. got to get this moved so it doesn't keep doing that. It's a real pain in the butt. And we'll, we'll probably make like a table and a chair and, stuff, and you know, nice decorative stuff like that too. But for now, um, we're just going to make the bed. But before we do the bed, we want to get the floor pieces in place. Okay, so let's go here. Pick that up. And we want to make sure that it's pointing to the south. Nice. So we have ourselves a nice wooden floor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace these pillars. Now I thought about putting another fireplace up here right in the center. Um, and I, I'm trying to decide if I want to do that or not. Otherwise I was just going to put the bed right in the center so it's like the centerpiece of the bedroom. I think for now let's do that. Uh, but I might change my mind later. We'll see. Okay, let's make sure that that is not clipping. And it looks like it's centered pretty good right there. Okay, nice. The one question, though, that I have is, are we within range of the fireplace? Um, we either aren't or the fire is... We aren't in range of the fireplace there. Okay, so that's a thing. Um, I know the temporary solution would be to put... Uh, just put a campfire down. Or maybe we do put a fireplace there. We're going to keep this one here regardless because that's our cook... Uh, our kitchen, so we need... You know, we want to have a fireplace in the kitchen. Um, let's try to think how I want to do this. So if we put the fireplace there, then we could put the bed maybe in the corner. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to have to give that some thought. Well, no, actually, I'm not going to give it some thought. That's what we're going to do. So, why don't we put the bed... ...here. And then, we're gonna make ourselves a fire... another fireplace. We need stone and wood. 
that set uh, 20 stone or something like that. I mean, 100, 120 stone, sorry. Okay, so let's make that. And we're going to also want the chimney pieces. While we're working on that, let's get some more um, of the wood beams made up. How many of these can I do? 63. No, I don't think we need that many, but we, we need a few. So let's make another 20 of these. We'll let, um, yeah, let's grab four right now. Okay, so we got the fireplace. Uh, we're going to need a chimney. And probably a chimney cap as well. So we need more stone. We're good on wood. We just need more stone. But let's do this. Let's pick this wall up. And set it back down as a solid wall. And we'll grab the fireplace and put it... Uh, oh, it, it snaps. Good? Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need the chimney piece and the chimney cap, because I don't think the cap's going to go that far. I'm not sure I like the bed there now, though, as a thing. Um, we might end up... Maybe centering the bed on this window instead. It just, it just looks a little weird to me that it's kind of tucked in the corner there. On the other hand, from a realistic standpoint, you would kind of want it close to the fireplace for warmth. Okay, let's just leave it there for, for now, and I might, I might change my mind later. We'll see. Okay, so now, can I just... I can't remember. Can I replace... Oh, right. Hammer. I can. Um, I need my hammer. It's hammer time. I could have done this with the floors, too. I just forgot about it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose interior wood. And we're going to right-click to switch those out. Nice. Okay, now let's go down here. Uh, I need more stone. Do I have any more? I went out and got a little bit of stone off camera, but I think I turned it all into cement, so we might need to go do a stone run. What do I have left in here? Not much. I'll put those back in there, so that gives me 45 stone. That is enough to make the extension. What the hell? Oh, right, okay. But we don't have enough to make the cap. So let's put the extension in place. We could maybe, oh. That's, that's a little sus. I wonder if it's because we changed from stone pillars to wood pillars. All right, well, let's, let's do this. Let's grab more of these. And what I think I want to do, because this is also going to affect what... Well, the way things look like on the outside is let's go with a cross beam here. And I want it to... Yeah, uh, uh, I had it there for a second. I want it to go like that. Okay. Now, um, let's go back to our hammer. Go to here. Why is that not updating? Is it because I have these in flat mode? Maybe? 
put him in vertical mode. It's not letting me change that. There it goes. That was odd. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Um, yeah, we need to eat and drink, so... Oh! Our freezer generates ice! So pretty soon I'm gonna have a bunch of ice and nothing to do with it. <laughs> so, have to figure that one out. Um, I suppose I could... make an ice box and put the ice in there, but I, I don't know, you know, what I would be doing with it. I don't like this stone wall here. We could probably get away with replacing that with a an interior wood wall because it's going to be undercover, so it shouldn't take storm damage. That is the theory, anyways. So let's pick this door back up for a second. And go here. So, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to redo like all those pipes. Yeah, that looks that looks better. Not having that piece of stone sticking out of there. Okay, so I'm still concerned about what's going on here. Um, obviously, by putting down the wood pillars, we lost some structural integrity, but we might be able to fix that. Um, we're going to need to do that fairly quickly or we might lose these pieces. I'm going to, I'm going to actually pull them down for a minute. All right. Oh, and of course the storm starts after I pull them down. Yes, indeed. What kind of storm do we got? Oh, man, it's a big, long thunderstorm. Yay. All right, that's great. That is just fantastic. What would happen if we did this? We took the angled beams and we popped them... Uh, why won't you let me put that there? Is it because this is in the way? No, it's it's red for some reason. Okay, let's try something different. Let's go back to the straight beams and let's put one there and one there. Now let's see if we can get our roof pieces back in place. That was just the worst timing game. Thank you. Jackass game. Uh, no. Put that back up there. Turn the other way. Alright, now let's see what it does. It does not like that. Okay, we might have to put some side pillars in then. provide more support for this. Let's start by... Well, that isn't going to do any good unless we go all the way down to the ground, which we need to do. So let's put that one there. Let's jump down here. Well, these could actually be stone pillars too. So why don't we swap those out? I 
I mean, if we have to put pillars along the side here, we have to. But I'm going to try and see if I can get away with not doing that first. And if we can't, we can't. Let's grab some more stone pillars. The frame rate's terrible. So what else is new? gets us a, a couple of that wall's backwards. Oh, I think it's I think I had to do that to get the hatch to work right. Is it the same way on that side? Yeah it is, okay. Okay, so we got those pillars. ceiling hasn't collapsed yet. If we then go and put a pillar here and one here, it doesn't really fix anything along there, does it? Okay. So I'm thinking... What if we did this? still a little janky looking though, but now I want to try this again. Let's go to the angle pieces. Why will it not let me put that there? I don't understand. If we lifted the roof off, I'll bet you it would let us do it then. Maybe. It does not like that. Hmm. All right, what if we pick this piece up? That worked. Oh, do I have these pieces backwards? I think I do. Okay, let's pull that up. And pull that up. That piece goes there. Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't like it, man. I, I, I can't explain it, but it does not like it. It's not going to let me do that. So, um, let's put this back the way that it was. That should be correct there. Oh, 
Is it going to let me do it now? Nope. Yep. Okay, I guess we're not going to do that. Can't figure it out why it's not letting me do it, but it is not. Let me do it. Okay, so let's get this there and there. I mean, we're good, though. I, I just thought it would, aesthetically it would look nice if we could put some cross beams in there, but for whatever reason it's it doesn't like it, so it is what it is. Now, I was thinking it might look nice if we took these and put those along there. Like so. Just adds more flavor to the room, you know? And probably would make sense to also put some cross beams there as well. So, how many more of these can we make? Let's make another 10. I'm just curious about something. If we took this guy. and made it an angled piece. Would it let us put that up there? Nope, it's red too. So yeah, it's just not gonna let us do that no matter what, so. That's the way it is. Water's low. Fix that. We shall fix that. piece here and then I want to yeah I want to do that too and that and that that looks nice everything is nice and braced let's put this guy back up here and we need to get the chimney cap, which means we need some stone. All right, let's just run out and grab some stone really quick. I'm not even going to take a critter with me. We're just going to grab as much stone as we can take in our own inventory because we don't need a ton. Uh, we just need enough to get a couple more things finished. We got some stone over here. Okay, let's get stoned. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. That was weird. Hey, get out of my garden. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're going to want the big chimney cap, so let's piece there. Put this down here. Uh, I'm going to put the other bit of stone back in here for now. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, alright, let's see here. Now we need we need to do some more trim work with these for aesthetic reasons more than structural reasons. And you know what? I'm just gonna we're, we're gonna need a bunch, um, so I'm just gonna make uh, quite a few more uh, because if you look at the building from the outside, you know we have some you know trim pieces, but it doesn't look correct. Uh, so we need to fix that so that it looks good and may have the added benefit of adding more structural integrity to, uh, to the base. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let's also grab a stack of wood out of here, and I want to make 
another batch of those guys too. Isn't that cozy? I like it. So what I want to do is I want to put verticals in here. Again, these are trim pieces. They're not structural pieces. And then we will put cross pieces, like a baseboard kind of idea, along here. Maybe not in front of the fire. I don't know. We'll have to go look at that from the outside to see. Okay. Now let's go. Let's go look at that. See, that looks really good. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, now what I'm thinking is we want we're gonna want to put beams up this way. Well, you know what? We might not need to do it in the middle, but we definitely need to do something right there. Because that that looks jank. Oh, I want to look at the chimney too. Well, let's run over from this angle and look at it. Oh man, that adds so much character to the base. I really like the way that's looking, you guys. That looks really good. Okay, so... I'm not exactly sure... what to do about that piece there. Because... we can't just put a beam in there because it's not the right... won't be the right length. About the only thing we could put in there is one of the the end cap, you know, peak pieces, but I don't think we can make one of those that is the same color as the interior wood. I don't think. Um, actually, you know what? Here, let's look in here. I've got eight points to spend. Uh, if we go to tier two and scroll over this way. Oh, we do. Okay, we do have this. I just need to learn it. Okay, so let's, I, I believe this is the piece we're gonna want. Uh, we don't necessarily need the half pitch. I'm not gonna get the half piece for now. Uh, but we do want the interior... Now, nah, you know what? I'm not going to use the interior wood railing. We're going to use the reinforced wood railing. Uh, I'm not going to do these windows. We'll, we'll put actual glass windows in. Uh, we want a chair. Small interior wood crate. No, I don't think we want that. Okay, so if we go over to here, I think... Uh, we're going to make these rails. Because these look really nice. Um, and then it saves us a point. Not that we have to worry too much about points, but... Alright, so where did that go? Right here. We're going to put some of these outside too. Which means we will have to periodically repair them. So yeah, I think that'll be the ticket for for that piece right there to make that look correct from the outside. Uh, so let's just make one of those and we'll grab these rails out of here. Oh, yeah, let's stop that for now.
Okay, so if we take and put this piece up there. That should do the trick. Um, um, my timer's going off. I gotta get ready for a live stream, but we're we're ready to to wrap up this episode anyway. Now I might even put some walls in up there. That just occurred to me. Not a hundred percent sure I will do that, but I mean, we, there's all, all kinds of different ways we could do this. But I'm also I'm also somewhat of a min minimalist. So I don't like to overdo it either with stuff like this. I don't know. I'm almost thinking it might look better if we if we do that on all of the seams. We're not going to be able to do it on the end because for whatever reason, God only knows that I can't put it on the end. But So we would have a beam coming up there and one coming up there too. I think that at the end of the day, that's going to look better. And then we would also want to do the same thing for the, this side of the roof. And there's more, you know, more trim that I want to do on uh, the building here. So we'll put a baseboard all the way around through there and frame it in just like we did over here. And I think it's going to look really, really nice, uh, you know, when that's all said and done. But anyways, guys, that is it for this episode. We are out of time. So um, I might, we might work on this again in the next episode. I mean, I don't want to do too many back-to-back -back building episodes. So, if we do one more building episode for now, uh, it'll only be one more. And then, we, then we're then we going to do the Zephyr mission. Or I might say screw it and just do the Zephyr mission. Um, or, actually, you know what I think I'll do off-camera? is I'll, I'll finish the trim pieces, because you guys get the basic idea. And then we will do then we'll work on some interior stuff in the next episode or do the Zephyr mission one one or the other i'll figure it out when the time comes but anyway i'm gonna let you guys go here so thanks very much for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we will catch you in the next episode see ya hey get out of my yard Brutal.